Hello everyone. This is a video for activity number seven. I will be going over two examples um, that I normally would do if I was in class. So right now, everybody should have activity seven opened up. And it should look like this. It's got some orange boxes on the first page, green boxes in the next, and a bunch of pictures of small political cartoons in the following pages. Now, um, you should be working in small groups, and that's going to help you later on in this activity. For the beginning, we have um, these boxes asking us questions about example number one. On the post that's set up for today, for activity number seven, there's a PDF with a PowerPoint that looks like this. There's a whole bunch of different documents, examples one and two, and then you'll see there's uh, cartoons that are set up like this. There's a set A that has cartoon one and two, a set B, cartoon one and two. And so the idea is um, all the different groups will have two documents to look at. Um, if you're in group A, you're looking at the set A documents. If you're in group B, you're looking at the set B documents. So let's look at the first example. Okay, before I look at the cartoon itself, I'm going to look at the questions to see what I need to analyze. Is this document for or against imperialism? How do you know? And then which cause of imperialism does this cartoon show? How do you know? Um, just to quickly write here, just to remind ourselves, what are the four causes of imperialism? There's military, cultural reasons, political and economic. It is possible that some of these cartoons might show more than one. If that's true, that's okay. So let's look for, is the document for or against imperialism and which cause it might show? Now, as I'm looking at this cartoon, I notice these two characters. The first character I see is this guy in um, a red jacket and a kind of a fancy uh, top hat. This man is supposed to represent Great Britain. And um, he is carrying in a basket a bunch of um, different people who are labeled as China, Zulu, India, and others. Those people are so, supposed to represent the different colonies that the British have. Now, um, it is important to point out that many of these cartoons will depict different groups of people um, in very stereotypical and in some cases racist depictions. Um, it's important to realize that and to remember the um, courageous conversations compass that we've been looking at throughout the year so we can recognize our feelings and our thoughts when we see disturbing imagery like this so that we can continue to analyze it in a historical lens. There's a good sign that if, there cart if a cartoon um, uses a lot of stereotypical images, it's most likely against imperialism. I'm sorry, uh, for imperialism, I'm sorry. If, if there's lots of stereotypes, most likely it's for imperialism. And here in this cartoon, we see Uncle Sam, who is carrying um, one man who's supposed to re represent the Philippines, Puerto Rico, Cuba, and Hawaii. And he's bringing them up the mountain. And you can see the bottom rocks of these mountains. Um, there's one for barbarism, one for oppression, one for superstition. So the idea is that they are um, bringing them from these lower mountains up to uh, the higher mountains um, where there's uh, uh, eventually the rocks become this golden statue of civilization. Oops. Let me go back to the document. So I'm gonna say for this first document, this is pro-imperialism. The reason why I think that is because America is taking 
its colonies up to the golden statue called civilization. It makes it look like the people need to be civilized and that it's a good thing. As I'm typing this, um, this video, if there are students that need a little time, um, it's okay for the sub to pause the video to give everyone a, a chance to, to write down what I'm writing down. Which cause of imperialism does this cartoon show? I think this is uh, a clear cultural motivation. Whenever we see anything to do with um, civilization or savages or anything like that, and it's gonna be cultural. So um, how do I know that um, the cartoon shows people as uncivilized and America trying to change them? trying to change their society, try to change who they are. That's how you do example one. Okay, if the video needs to be paused to finish writing that, you can, before we move on to example number two. Let's look at this one, example two. Let me make it bigger so everyone can see it. In this cartoon, I see Uncle Sam again, and oh, there's the, the British guy. This time it's in black and white, but he would be wearing a red jacket. But this time, Uncle Sam isn't carrying anyone. Instead, somebody's carrying him. And at the bottom of the screen, you can see the word saying the white man's burden. Um, the white man's burden is this idea in the late 1800s that it was the white man's job or burden to civilize other people. And so what this is kind of arguing is that, um, that actually the burden and the labor and the work are not being done by Uncle Sam and uh, white Americans, but instead by um, the people they've taken over, including the Philippine, Filipinos. So if I go back to the doc or the, the document I'm filling out, is this document for or against imperialism? This is against imperialism. How do I know? It's trying to point out that the countries have been taken over are being used and abused by the US. Which caused imperialism? I think this is also cultural. And I know that again, because um, it's having to do with this idea of the white man's burden. Which meant that um, America has the duty to spread culture around the world. This cartoon is criticizing that idea. Now, in your groups, you will analyze two cartoons. Whatever group you're in, you're going to be looking at those two documents. If you're group A, you're going to be analyzing group A documents. 
And so what I would do is when you get your small group and your documents, split up the documents within your group. So if you are doing group A documents, you'd write group A, and then uh, let's say document uh, cartoon one, oops, is right there. And then I'm gonna go through with these green boxes. What are three visual clues in the cartoon that would help to understand the meaning? Um, that just means like, who are some of the people in the cartoon? What are symbols? Is anything labeled? Is, is there any words at the bottom of the document? Is the document for or against imperialism? How do you know? Which cause of imperialism does the cartoon show? How do you know that? After your group has answered these green boxes about your two documents, and after all the groups are finished, we're gonna go around and um, uh, members of each group are going to report out to the rest of the class. They're gonna tell us what's happening. Is it for or against? And which argument do they use? So um, I'm just gonna make this up for this first one just so you can see what it looks like. But let's say what's happening is that um, uh, the rest of the world, wants to trade with the US. I don't know if that's right or not. Your group will tell you that in a little bit. For or against, maybe I'm saying it's for, and so I'm just gonna highlight that, or I could delete this part. And then which argument used? That's just looking for, let's say it's economic. Okay, and that's how I'll do it. So there's gonna be reporters from each group telling the rest of the class about the documents they read. And as those groups are presenting, everybody else is filling in the boxes here. So by the time you're done, you're gonna have all these cartoons finished. You'll notice this is labeled on Google Classroom as an activity, activity number seven. So this is graded and feedback is put into Google Classroom. If you have any questions, the adults in the room will help you, um, help you to do that. Um, thank you so much.